As our week-long flash flood watch continues now all the way until 7 p.m. Friday, and if this tropical system comes close to us, it could go beyond that. It's for Hidalgo, Willacy, and Cameron counties. We're seeing some pretty decent little showers right now. One right near Olmito. Olmito's right here. It's right at where Highway 100 meets with uh, 69E, a little bit north of Olmito, then one down on the military highway. Also seeing scattered activity in Willacy County right now. Everything moving mainly toward the south. Things are just barely popping up. There's a little shower just on the northeast side of Edinburgh. We look at all of Hidalgo and Star counties and really pretty quiet out there. So today things pretty concentrated in the coastal counties and that's where the clouds are as well. We've got a little bit of sunshine today and that's allowed temperatures to really warm up. Most of the valley climbing back into the 90s for the first time this week. Maybe the only time this week is there's still an awful lot of moisture to move into the area. We still have the trough right here and then we have this thing and really I say this thing. It's all of this. This is our disturbance that we're watching. The National Hurricane Center calls it a broad area of low pressure that's moving off to the west and to the northwest, now giving it a 70% chance of developing. You kind of forget the five day probability because five days from now it's going to be back in the mountains somewhere. So really it's the two day number that matters. A 70% probability of it doing something, and they say there's a good chance it'll be a tropical depression in the western Gulf sometime tomorrow when they fly a plane into it and see if they can find a closed circulation with winds strong enough for that. Now, if we take a look at it, this is what the model Models do a couple of them bring it close to us. A couple take it Corpus Christi. Bottom line, that's just the center of it. Really, remember how big it was? That whole thing comes this way. So it really doesn't matter where the center of a disorganized system is. Everybody gets rain. The more organized it gets, the more the rain concentrates near the center, wherever the center is. But as long as it stays no more than a depression or a weak tropical storm, then everybody into the pool. Everybody's going to get some rain before this is over with. Watch what Future Track does with this. We're going to watch over the next couple of days. And notice tomorrow, showers show up from time to time. You see by tomorrow afternoon, scattered showers, even thunder showers over the area. Here comes the broad area of low pressure, and I'm leaving it just as a line, even though this is showing a little bit of a wrap right up here. Either way, look at all the rain from here all the way up to Houston, all the way down to Tampico. Uh, it's a broad area of low pressure. Big area gets rain. Saturday, notice there's still rain here. The big stuff follows this thing up into the hill country and probably up into the watershed. Beneficial rains in our watershed. A real upside to this system as long as it doesn't develop into much. And then it continues pushing away, but we continue to see rain chances. We're going 50, 70, 60, and really, if you're trying to plan an outdoor event, it's hard to say which day it's going to rain in which town. Just like last night, you know, Westlake got hit so hard. Edinburgh gets hit. La Jolla gets hit. Same kind of thing. Scattered stuff. When it rains, it rains hard. It's chances stay above 50-50 all the way into the weekend. Again, the bigger picture shows there's moisture from here all the way up to East Texas, and satellite reflects the same thing, obviously. This is, again, another view, another model. This is the NAM. Here's our trough that's here now. That's the one that's been giving us the rain. Here comes the disturbance, and, you know, it just kind of works its way into the Texas coast, and everybody gets rain. The weaker it is, the more widespread the rain tends to be, and it doesn't take a depression or a tropical storm or a hurricane to bring tremendous rainfall. You can think of some past events where just unnamed storms come in and give you a bunch of water. This could be that system, and on top of what we've already had, that creates problems. Ultimately, though, it ends up in the watershed and gives us some good rain. Look at the tropics right now. Oh, by the way, this system stole the next name, Joyce, out in the northern Atlantic, a subtropical storm. We don't even track that one, but we'll track the others. This, of course, is Florence. Look at that eye on that storm. Very impressive. 120 mile per hour winds, makes its way toward the Carolina coast, gets there sometime early in the morning on Friday, and then just kind of hangs out there. Look at that. Just works its way down to South Carolina. It's just there all weekend long. They will have a mess on their hands. In the meantime, the two other systems in the Atlantic, Helene, not a concern. This one, we're going to watch. Isaac is the tropical storm all the way across the Caribbean by early next week. For us then, uh, flash flood watch continues. Rain, a couple of thunderstorms possible tonight. Tomorrow, 60% chance of rain again. Heavy rain is a possibility. 89, 87, 89. Temperature staying a little cooler than normal. You know, probably our best chance in the Friday vicinity when whatever that tropical system is moves across the South Texas coastline. But the chance of rain stays with us all the way through the forecast period, although it tapers off a little by the middle of next week. That is your updated First One 5 forecast.